Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel. My name is Shanks and it's been a long time. I was on vacation for three and a half weeks, but trust me on that one, I enjoyed every single second of my stay in Turkey. The food was amazing, the weather was great, I was swimming, I was going to the beach, so I don't regret anything, but I was missing you guys and I am so happy that I'm back home, that I can make videos and we can continue with the Shadow in Flame mod. By the way, also sorry for the Helm Sleep video, which was recorded without any voiceover. I was talking all the time, but my microphone was muted. I'm a noob streamer, I guess. Uh, yeah, of course, we have still many, many missions, you know, to reach, including the Minas Tirith video. I'm really looking forward for this one. And the second we finish the evil campaign, we will also start with the good campaign. So stay tuned for some videos almost every single day. And if you want to catch me live on my live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash beyondstandards, you can also check me there. The link is going to be in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I'm back in the business. I'm back on the menu. Let's get the video started. And please make sure to leave a like for your boy, okay? See you in the game. Alrighty, so we defeated Helm's Deep. But are we done yet? Of course, we are not done yet. We have still many, many things to go. And we need to, this time, select the Moro faction, the Haradrim army. We have 20, 25 Mumu kills and 250 evil men. Near Harad, a hot and exotic land. It is the kingdom of the Haradrim, warriors loyal to Sauron. Alrighty guys, now look at the new heroes we got here. We have Uvata and also Mouth of Sauron, which normally doesn't exist in Battle for Middle Earth 1. In the Shadow and Flame, however, it does exist and I'm so happy about this. And look at the design of this unit too, the Orc Horde Archer Battalion. They look like this, he's dismounted, he can also get mounted, and also Uvata can get mounted. Almost every single Moro hero, by the way, can get mounted in this Shadow and Flame mod. Let's pick up the money on the ground, we have 6 power points collected, let's see what we can do with that. Absolutely nothing, okay, I don't wanna pick up the Tainted Lands because I would like to get the Scavenger. This means money, 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 every single time we kill enemy units. Let's capture this camp next to us. Alright, so we can kill some villagers, just why not. Are they gonna drop, drop money? Yeah, they are dropping money. We are rich here, rich, ladies and gentlemen. Can we kill this tent? No, we can't. But we have more villagers to kill. I'm an evil man today. Ready for fighting. You better run for your life, but you can't disengage from the mighty Eye of Sauron, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look at him. <laughs> look, he's, look, he's running for his life. Stab him. <laughs> That's so nice. Build a tribute card at a citadel. Nice. And yeah, in this mission, you have a couple of options. The number one choice you get is you need to defeat the enemy units and force them to fight for you. Or you can just give them money, you know? And someone tell me money isn't everything. Come on. We are not able to build furnaces. We are only able to build slaughterhouses. All right. That's great. Okay, we can also get some levels on our heroes. What is the mission? Recruit the Haradrim either by force or by tribute. So let's build some more slaughterhouses just to make sure that our money is great. We are also able to build the troll cage or barracks. Uh, let's go with the troll cage because that's our main force, am I right? But the Haradrims are actually hurting. They are Haradrim archers, they are looking a bit different. Normally they are throwing spears in battle for Middle Earth 1, but here they are acting like an archer battalion. Okay, so how much money? Um, the money is 10,000, so it's actually pretty expensive. But in order to avoid to avoid fighting, wait a second, we can kill them too and get even more money. In order to avoid fighting and force them by giving them a bit of money, I'm down to spend also 10,000 resources. Okay, we are not able to get any drama trolls just yet. We are only able to recruit some mountain trolls. But that's fine. We have only one settlement. But the second we got our industry, we will be using that on our slaughterhouses to boost the resource income from every single one of these by 100%. Which is amazing because that means double the money. 
You keep killing them. Nice. -o, nice. -o. Look how much money. So we can set waypoints now. Wait, let's set like this and get all the money and we can keep killing those villagers. I would not kill them. I'm a friendly guy, but they are giving us money and um, that's what we need. We need 10,000 plus only for one camp and there are a bunch of camps as you can see. I see one, two, three camps. So we need in order to uh, make them fight for us without fighting 30,000 resources guys, which is a lot of money. Okay. Let's use industry immediately here. There we go. Great. Can also keep making more trolls. And I would... I like the design of the trolls here. Look at that, guys. They actually made a great mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1. I'm, you know, uh, don't hate me when I say that, but I believe this is the best mod that I've played so far in terms of graphics, at least. And also the new heroes they added, which are also available in the campaign, are amazing. And by the way, a couple of you guys were asking me all the time, how can I get this mod? I would make a video about this mod, how to download and install that, but I believe it's very easy. All you need to do, guys, is go to Google, Google Shadow and Flame mod for BFME 1, and just download and run it. As easy as that, really not complicated, and very, very easy. So there is a camp next to us, and uh, we can also purchase or buy this camp. Let's do this, actually. It's gonna cost us some money, but we're gonna get money on the other side a bit faster now. With double camp, we will have way more resource buildings. The city is looking amazing. Slaughterhouse, 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 that's what we do. And build towers for the defense. And also keep making trolls. Release the mountain troll. Look at this picture. When you press T, they're gonna automatically search for a tree. But it doesn't work all the time, especially when the trees are not nearby. So you might be forced to actually uh, get closer to a tree. Look at this, it's like a desert map, so we don't have many trees around. You can also grab a rock if you want to, but I like to get a tree instead. Okay, and you guy, you guy can go here. I'm actually not uh, happy about this situation that we will be forced to use those trees around the lumber mill, because then our wood... Cutters won't have the money they need to collect even more resources for us. Okay, we have a bunch of trolls. We can get more of these on the fields. Now every one of them has a tree in his hands. We have three. Three trolls. Um, let's grab this. Nice. And our heroes are level 2. This one is Screech already. What is that? Units in radius gain experience. Okay, we don't need that for now because we lost every single unit but a couple of Orc Archer Battalion. That's it. You can also lose them. We have 475 command points available. And imagine us filling the command points we get only with trolls. Remember, the trolls in BFME 1, they cost you only 10 command points. So, <laughs> that means we can spam a lot of them. But our opponents, they, they will have Moomer kills, of course. It's going to be kind of tricky. But it's fine because we will not... Oh... We are losing the trolls. They're actually dying very fast with those Haradrim archers. But revenge, my friend. It's time to die. Say it down. Okay, the trolls are hitting like a truck. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's make some more trolls. We have only one troll cage. All the other... We have industry almost pick up. All the other buildings are resource buildings. That means we will get our money collected quite fast. We can also use it immediately here. In a camp like this, you are able to hit industry on every single building. Now we have six uh, slaughterhouses buffed with 100% more resource income. So let's let's peel back. Yeah, they, they are actually trying to kill our trolls all the time. That's annoying me a little bit. But okay. Is that a camp? Yeah, there is a camp. So you can you guys can move there, the heroes. The amount of experience you are able to gain throughout a mission in the campaign is quite limited. So you are not able to get way more than one level only per mission, you know? But once we get a couple of levels on our heroes, especially this guy, I believe, level 8, he will have a movement speed increased by 20, damage by 20 for a brief time. So movement speed buff is actually quite nice. It's very underrated and it was not existing this way in BFME 1 before. Only Palantir was making you faster. Now, many, many heroes have actually the ability to get faster, which is awesome because I like fast games, you know, even though this one is a bit sm slow, 
Look how fast he's being recruited. Alright, send your tribute cat to a camp to buy their loyalty. I got you. Look. <laughs> Look at the road. Money, money, money. Look. The second we reach this, fight for me. Beautiful. Okay, we can just let them actually... I don't want to have these units under my control because I want to make sure that... Wait a second. I want to make sure that every single... Let's demolish these buildings. Let's use lot houses here. So we get collect we get the money collected. I want to actually have uh, we can't build towers here. Are you are you kidding me? Look at this camp. Look at this design. That's pretty nice. Oh, look, Mumma kills are here. Holy moly. So maybe we should try to get these units also under our control. The Mumma kills are so tanky. What is this? Yeah, 25% more damage and 25% reload speed, so pretty much attack speed. You will be able to attack a bit faster. Oh, there is even more money on the ground. What is that? Are we gonna get 10,000 now? Yes, 10,000 collected. And now you also gonna fight for me, my friend. We got so much money from this camp. Holy moly, we got like 10,000 only from this money on the ground. And even more money on the ground. There is one more villager, so let's grab the money first. And you can grab this money and kill him afterwards. Okay, nice. So, this building is looking a bit different. So, Mumma kills can also move. Look how many units we got. We are command points kept already. We have so many Mumma kills. You guys can fight. I want to lose them. Yeah, just, just die. This is my, my Mumma kill? No, that's not our Mumma kill, guys. But we have two Mumma kills to come very soon. We have so many trolls on the field. That's great. And we still... Look how much money we have. We have collected so much money. And all about that, all that without fighting, really. Now, our Mumma kills are coming. I want to always... I will also almost, you know... Always, sorry, I can't even talk English as hard. I always wanted to see Mumma kills fighting against Mumma kills. Oh, they are actually dealing. I'm not gonna fight them because I want to lose them to make some spot with the command points. You guys can also move here. You guys also can move. I want to lose them all because I don't want to place my command points into the Haradrim arches. You can't even give them fire, right? No. So we have one Mumma kill here and one here. You guys can just move around. And we can now start making some Mumma kills. Oh, you are only able to recruit two of them at the same time? Limited to four units only. Okay. I didn't know that. Maybe it was a mistake that we lost them. That's also pretty unique to this mod. That some units are just limited. You can't have, you know, infinite of them. In normal BFME 1, you are able to make as many Mumma kills as you want, you know? There are no limitations. You kill this guy, and you kill this guy. Industry, let's use it. We have so much money. Holy moly. Okay. We lost all of them. That's fine. So we will have four very soon. And we can also make more trolls. The reason why I'm building up an army, Warfare of Moro, is simple. Because we're gonna keep the army for the next mission. So we will have a lot of trolls, moment kills, everyone is gonna fight for us. Okay. Mumma kill is ready to battle. Alright, so the, the second you conquer this bases or camps, you will also get the chance to build more Haradrim Palace and Mumma kill pen. Oh, now Mumma kills are fighting against each other. I see you. Defend the camp. Grab the money. Grab the money. Alright, so... We will need more Mumma kills, I guess. We are, we are losing our Mumma kills. This is ours? No, we're gonna win this fight. Easy peasy. Nice. So we have four now. That's the maximum. You can't have more than that. That's not possible. Radrim archers. Okay. These buildings are looking dope. Okay, you can also go suicide. You can also demolish these buildings. And build troll cages. 
to get the trolls a bit faster. Just make sure that our command points are full, full with trolls and Muma kills, and then we are just good to go. We can always recruit this 10,000 thing, it's already here, and send them to the last standing base. And we will be able to conquer every single Haradrim camp without fighting and destroying it. Okay, more resource buildings. Money doesn't hurt. You know, it's built, build, 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 build. Nice. I like this design. And I'm also looking forward to finish off the evil campaign so we can start finally with the good campaign right after. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, trolls, more trolls, and we are almost done, level 3 means 50% faster build speed, so they are pretty much coming twice as fast. So they only cost com 10 command points, guys, imagine at some point we will get the chance with 1000 command points, imagine we have like 100 trolls in total, maybe 90 trolls and the other ones are going to be like, see it. Uh, are going to be something like uh, drama trolls to make the trolls around them stronger, buff them, and then we will combine it all together with the darkness from our, from our spell, uh, spell book, which means even more damage, Eye of Sauron, which means even more damage, so all that together can make our oh, troll against Muma kill. the Muma kill is just way too strong, but the troll is smashing too, hitting decent amount of damage. But it's, you know, when you fight with a Muma kill, guys, quick tip from my side, make sure that you are not right-clicking the opponent. Make sure to walk over the opponent. Even if it's a hero, it doesn't really matter what it is. You can trample almost every single unit. Like, troll, no problem. You can trample a troll easy peasy, you know? Okay, we killed him. That's great. We're almost done. Okay. So, we can just build tower here. I don't want to have an empty spot in my base. We can use the Eye of Sauron just to see what he's doing. I see you, bro. Stop making Muma kills. How do you have so much money? I don't get it. Does he have any camps outside? Because he has nothing in his base which gives him money. Ooh, what is this? Look at this money. There, there is so much hidden money on the ground on this map. Pretty nice. Okay, so we can just send him now. This this unit is also moving more the portal. It looks pretty, looks like a Pokemon to me, like Shigi, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we release the mountain troll, that's what you love to hear. Use it, we don't need, really need that, because we don't, you know. Okay, we are command points kept, guys. And let's send the troll to the last base of Haradrims, and this way we can make them fight for us, just use Devastation to get it on cooldown, use War Chant on the Haradrims to meme, and also the Vision of Palantir. We swear allegiance to Sauron. A new power is rising. Victory is at hand. A new power is rising. You gotta love the voice of Christopher Lee. Nice, Sue. GG, well played. Uh, we have now a, a really big army. Mouth of Sauron is level 2. Uvata is level 2. That's great. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, New Harad is conquered just like Sauron's that. And next one is going to be South Italian. Tide rising across the land. It has overtaken Rohan and soon shall engulf Gondor. Look at this. 40 Passage evil men, 26 trolls, and 6 Muma kills. <laughs> That's so nice. Alright, this is gonna be our next target for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Likes are helping quite a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more content like this in the future. I see you next time, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves. And, you know, keep hitting like a track. And also, stay beyond standards. Peace.